welcome to today's tip. I've got a fantastic, really easy, inexpensive tip for you today. Now, I don't know about you, but in Australia at Christmas time, we get loads of magazines at the the supermarket. One of the great things about using these magazines is a lot of the colors and the textures have been curated for the best possible picture. So if you chose a page, you will be able to find some really lovely colors that you can use on your scrapbook page. So I'm gonna go for this winter scene here with the gingerbread house. I might keep some wood in because I want to create a tree. So we'll see how those go. Next thing I want to do is use a textured background. It doesn't have to be Christmassy. I just want it to look kind of rustic. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with the wooden one. But before we start using our magazine pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create the area that we're going to work. Now I've just cut out really simply a, um, a tree here. I was using it for another project actually. Okay, both of these are 12 by 12, so that's gonna give me a really good understanding of where my tree is going to fit on the page. Now, I actually might have my tree to one side so that my photograph can sort of sit here, which means I'm going to need to cover up this area and this area. And then what I've got is I've got my acrylic ink here and I've got a really stiff brush. And all I'm going to do is flick the white behind. Okay, so I'm just flicking the white paint, the acrylic paint, off the brush and onto the background. Okay, let's move all of this away now and we will be hopefully left with a Christmas tree shape behind there. Perfect. Now you can't really see it in as much as I'd wanted to, but I'm kind of happy with where that's at. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is get as many punches as you've got in your stash. And don't worry if they're not Christmassy, it doesn't matter. And all I'm going to do is punch out loads of different shapes from my um, shop magazine. Okay, well I've gone completely overboard and have cut out loads and loads and loads and that's because I really want to get a feel for how it's going to be. I've got this lovely wood um, section here that I might use for the base of the tree or it might blend a bit too much so I might use this one. I'll see how I go. And then all I'm going to do is start playing around with using the shape that's sitting behind um, with the snow or the white acrylic paint that we have used and I, I'm just literally going to start placing them around. Cut this little section here, I just did a half hexagonal for the bottom of my tree and I might use my wooden bits that I've got here as well which I think could look quite funky. I've got my little dragonfly at the top there for my star and I am pretty happy with that. I'm gonna move those over to the side. Now the second thing I'm going to do, I had this piece of paper here, is I'm going to just create a little bit of a snow scene coming down the side here. Perfection, look at that. And now I'm ready for my photographs, however I want to put those on. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip. It's nice and easy and it brings out the best effects. So I look forward to seeing you next time.